Okay, guys, it's 6 a.m. I need a coffee, which is a good thing, because we're going to Cars and Coffee. But I have to drive two hours to get there. And I'm in a parking garage at 6 a.m., making quite a bit of noise. So, well, hopefully the car warms up pretty fast and we can get the hell out of here. Just as a demonstration of how damn cold it is here for Florida, I mean, I'm from New York, so for me, I'm like, I'm wearing shorts, I'm warm. But I just filled these tires up yesterday. It was like 50, and the car was cold. 30, the normal PSI are supposed to be all four corners right now are 28. So the car is finally warm, so if we get, I mean, we're kind of on a highway right now, it's a 70 mile an hour road, but there's stoplights on this road. So if we get a light, we might get a little lunch in. Tires are still cold somehow, going 70 miles an hour for 20 minutes. Well, I'm gonna need an explanation on that one. Sideways. Actually, I didn't even see if they're still on my car. I should probably look. But two kind of matching R8s. One's matte, one's not. They both have a lot of carbon. But a good start. <laughs> when you see that and you're an hour early, it's only good. S2000, another R35. It's pretty good. Launch Edition C7 Grand Sport. You do not see those that often. The gray with the 
tension blue hash. That looks amazing. Amazingly, I'm still there. Apparently the rattle just got fixed. Admiral blue, blue. wow. With tension blue. Tension blue interior. That is sick. What a line of the C7s. That's actually a really good color for this thing here. Properly driven R35. That is a nice spec. I like the black and red rims. That looks really good. S2K looks pretty good too. Nice thing. Look at that Cobra. So there's the A90, which I'm now realizing my camera's upside down. Where'd the A80 go? I just saw it. I'm so lost. There's the A80, and this is still upside down for some reason. Right hand drive, too. just parking not near anybody. I wanted the C7s to sit by each other. There was one empty spot, but I knew when you're an hour early and there's three C7s and like four spaces, there's gonna be a fourth C7 and it came about 30 seconds later, so I don't know. Car looks good though. I just saw a Viper coming with a Huracan and this camera's still upside down. I'm gonna have to fix this at the edit. The Huracan's gotta go next to the R8s, right? V10s. Well, another V10s is a <laughs> R8, Viper, and Huracan. Love the Viper. The license plate obviously isn't a vanity, but having V8 on a Viper just seems wrong. <laughs> the turning radius on the Huracan is a lot better than the Gallardo was. I remember how bad that car was, and that thing just got inside space pretty easy. And that's not an Evo, so it doesn't have four-wheel steering. If the Evo does even have four-wheel steering. I know the, the Ventor S does, but another R35. I have a feeling that's gonna be a trend. Mustangs are 35s. <laughs> it's a nice 370, I like the wrap. Guys, look at this wrap. That is nuts. I know I have a C8, so I shouldn't say this, but it's amazing. Look at that. Yeah, look at the hood on the Z, that looks amazing. Legitimately never seen a Noble in my life. Is that an M12 or I don't even know. I know that noise too uh, too, too well after learning stick on a C7. Seabring looks so good. Look at those wheels. Perpavante pulled up. This is a sick wrap on the inside. Whoa, that's a nice color combination. A more stock 610. That looks amazing. I love the 610. The Evos are so overdone. Does everyone have a turbo? What is this rear bumper? It looks cool, but what is it? Kind of looks like an Evo, actually. Does everyone have. Nope, this is not a stock Huracan. Well, never mind. A lot of firsts today, a Lancia. That is sick. I just saw the martini livery from the other side of the park. I got excited. Look at that. That's nuts. That looks so good. A lot of first. Noble, Holden, Lancia. I know it's like we'll say Lancia, but I think that's wrong. Now this is an word interesting. Like very interesting. The inside's kind of crazy. Another A80. But I don't think it's freshly from Japan, like the blue one. Well, I'm gonna see if somebody else. I'm not a massive Type R fan, but that is really cool. 
Like that is a lot of them. That's nuts. That's actually look, that actually looks good. I don't even like Mustangs, but Oh, it's just got GG500 grill. I was about to say, that just doesn't look like GG500. That sounds good. I think that's legitimately the 15th or 16th Supra I've seen, A90 specifically. Uh, uh, it's literally next to another one. Better view of that F350, look at that. Guys, this is literally a minute later. Then there's two more A90s. The Toyota dealer here is the richest dealer in the world. How many pink Lambos have I filmed in the past few videos? Because it feels like it's more than one. And that's not a lot, normally, but it's a pink Lambo, so whoa, look at that. Look at that rear bumper. Look at the inside of this SDK. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks so good. This is a great spec. I think Salamandrin style, there's a ruby stone red 911. Ignore the R35 for a second. Unless that's a RAV 911. Okay, it's a purple R35. That's kind of is that a ruby stone? I think it's just a red 911. GT3. One of the 2000 Supras. Cool calibers. Z, STI coming up behind it. That's gonna be anti-climatic. Or not. Type R coming. Supra. I wonder if those are both OEM colors. I know they, they both look like it. Obviously they're wraps, but well, one of them is. Mustangs always have a, Mustangs always have a risk of crashing, so I have to film them. Ah, uh, he didn't even lose traction. He did! <laughs> oh, shit! I will admit, as much as Mustangs are the meme, Corvettes spin out a lot more than Mustangs at car shows. <laughs> there's the dual tone Supra going the other way. Another Z. Here comes the GT3. This. Please send it. No. Or don't. Okay, R35. breaking the rears out. That was underwhelming. Take that back. Uh, Turbocharged for Fermante, guys. Turbocharged for Fermante. Turn right onto Florida 582 East East Fowler Avenue. Continue on Florida 582 East for two miles. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-75 North. County Road 234 for one and a half mile. Even Z mode, because this is actually such a fun road. 
left onto US 441 North.